Hello, welcome back to my channel. This is Ria. I'm sorry, I'm just eating right now. Uh, this is my lunch. Um, having a onigiri tuna mayo flavor. So, anyways, aside from me eating my eating away stuff in my mouth, um, I'm just wanting to explain to everyone why I haven't uploaded for quite a while. Uh, reason is because a lot has happened last week. I was planning on making a tower tower reading video last weekend, but reason why I didn't is because my apartment has been flooded due to the pipe bursting. So there was so basically my apartment was um, needs to be fixed. The carpet has to be removed to avoid molding and and has to be renovated. And there were a lot of damages to the furniture due to the material. So luckily everything will be reimbursed by the insurance company but it's just a lot of stressful responsibility has to be done like calling the calling this and that and also paperwork and having to find a hotel at the very last minute that is pet friendly it was quite stressful and a lot of pressure for me because my parents rely on me because their excuse is that my English is better than them so I've been unable to do any tarot reading because all my tarot cards were packed away uh, it's because I was at work and the people were, who was packing away our stuff to make room for the people to lift the carpet so my stuff my towel cards were all packed away and i don't know which box it is because there were a lot of boxes so that's my reason for not uploading so for those of you who are expecting me to be doing towel reading i won't be able to do it any for a long while not until everything is sorted, fixed, renovated, like completely, I, I don't know how long it's going to take. So, and I don't know how long my family is going to stay at the, this hotel we're staying at. I think it's a suite, but guys, so I'm just going to explain to you what happened is that originally there was a hotel we're supposed to be staying at, but the thing is, um, there is false advertisement on Expedia which I used to book the hotel uh, which I had chosen on the field to a pet friendly this hotel popped up as pet friendly but by the time we go there on the day of the reservation it has to sign no pets allowed so false advertisement and when we try to cancel they expect us to pay a cancellation fee but it's not our fault in this case because we were planning to be pet friendly, but it's not. So I had to call the agency. The parents relied on me again. I had to call them, make my case and my complaint about this false advertisement. So in the end, my family doesn't have to pay the cancellation fee. And we have the agency to find us a hotel that is pet friendly close by because my parents, uh, my mom and I need a hotel that is easy access to public transportation to work. So it has to be close by. In the end, we find ourselves in this hotel, which is a Marriott Hotel. Um, it is, originally it was supposed to be standard room, but we we told the receptionist uh, the situation and 
for some reason, by the time we got to our room, we found out we've been upgraded <laughs> to a suite instead of a standard room because we have a kitchen, we have a dining table, a sofa, a large closet to hand out clothes and a somewhat quite large but not too large of a bathroom and a large full size fridge so basically it has everything I guess you could say and we are, are at the top floor so yeah and at first we were supposed to have pay for parking um, per night but because of how long we stay the receptionist says that is free. So, if you're wondering how much it costs for this room, so basically we're staying for two weeks for three adults, one dog. So the dog is hundred dollars pet fee for the whole thing, not per night. It's just the whole thing. So basically, in total for two weeks, uh. And because and the fact that we were upgraded without realizing, <laughs> it costs about one thousand five hundred and twenty dollars Canadian dollars. So it's not bad price. It's not a bad price, especially during this time of year, close to Christmas. But yeah, so this is my situation, and it's just exhausting. I will try to update you on my situation I guess when I have the time and at the moment this is all I can say um, I do apologize for not able to do any talk readings but most I probably might do some just talk video chat with you guys if you want I could if you want me to do my opinion on a certain situation I can do so just be aware that it's just my opinion of how I see it so it's up to you uh, anyways uh, I'll keep you guys updated uh, I'll see you guys next time and take care and I'm just gonna go back to eating, eating my onigiri anyways Merry Christmas and happy holidays